what is up gamers welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to get double movement in fortnite on keyboard and mouse this means that if i hold my left button instead of shuffling i'll be running all the way this side but looking in this direction all right so let's get started all right now the first thing you're going to have to do is to use these two links in the which i put in the description you're going to have to open them both start with the mega.nz one this link will bring you to a page which will allow you to download this software keys to x input and this is a free software that allows you to to put double movement on your keyboard basically the other software rewast um, or rewasd requires money so we're going to press download on this I've downloaded it it's safe it's totally cool so then go to the next link you're not gonna have it in a Google Doc you're gonna have to use the links in the description this is a github link and we'll bring you to this page which has all this information scroll all the way to the bottom and with these four links here go to the top one vid em bus setup time 64 to msi click on that and then this page will, sh will po show up mm -hmm. i can't speak press save and then wait till it's completed downloading and you are good to go okay now that you have downloaded them in the downloads in your browser open the vgm bus setup the m64 msi open that in your folder now what you gotta do is run this and when this shows up just press run press i accept the terms in the license agreement and press install it doesn't take a very long time it's extremely short because it's a very small file it just takes a little bit to start up and then boom press finish now I want you to find the keys 2x input folder that appeared on your desktop when you when you downloaded it if it didn't appear on your desktop let's say I delete it oh never mind okay let's say it doesn't exist then if I go into my downloads it's right here so I'm gonna open it in folder and then drag it to my desktop so here it is now what I'm going to do is right click on it and extract it here if you're on if you're on winrar you just have to right click it and then extract here button will be there and 7-zip you just click on the 7-zip word go over here and extract here now once you do this these two files should appear on your desktop now this is keys to x input and readme readme is basically just patch notes which is pretty nice but what you want to do is launch keys 2x input now this little application here is keys 2x input and it's a little bit overwhelming but i'll teach you everything all okay this these are your key binds w a s and d you can change them to whatever you like so i don't use w a s d i use e s d f so i'm going to change it to e s d f now strafes it tells you the description of what strafes is if you click on it it is the forward momentum applied when only holding a or d that means right now if i hold let's pretend i'm using wasd if i hold a i will just shuffle to the left because it's on its default um it's on its default number but if i set that a bit higher if i hold a it'll also have me pressing um w like a little bit so it'll pretend i'm doing that so that i run forward and to the left but just enough that it looks like i'm running all the way to the left diag up means the forward momentum applied only when holding w and a or w and d which means right now you go about 45 degrees forward right or forward left when you do that um and you can change that by changing this number and diag down is basically when you hold a and s or s and d how what what angle you go backwards and left or backwards and right so 
I have the best settings for this to allow you to to do everything you need to do. So, strafes. I want you to change this to 9000. And then, diag up, leave this how it is. Because we want to be able to have the movement we already have for smaller actions. But diag down, this is where it gets important, change this to 3200. This is what this is what it's Jerian said to do. And it's Jerian is how I learned about this. So credit to it's Jerian. And I don't see why to change this number. So don't change it. But the big number is strafes. This means that if if I hold A, I can be getting double movement. But if I hold W and A, I'll have the movement I had before for more subtle movements. So now press save configuration. Boom. And don't minimize this for some reason. When you minimize it, it actually closes it, which is not what we want. Now, if you go into Fortnite, you'll notice I can run forward. If I hold W and D, I can run forward and to the right like normal. But if I hold just D, take a look at that. I'm running almost completely sideways. This means that I can, I can protect myself without having to do this like before which is awkward I can just run straight to the side while doing this if I'm peace controlling somebody and I go like this I can box him up there's so many different stuff now when I watched Hysterian's video on this he had it so you had the option to either shuffle to the right like this or go all the way to the right if you're holding forward and right so I wanted to improve on that so now, because I was having trouble with 90ing, because you would hold all the way to the left or right when you were 90ing, and so it was more awkward like that. So I had muscle memory for regular 90ing, and I'm lagging right now, but I had muscle memory for regular 90s. So by by putting forward and left and forward and right on the default numbers, I can run forward and left and forward and right like before, but I can also run all the way to the side. Where this is especially useful is if, let's say, this brick box is my enemy's box. Whoa, I'm lagging. If I take his wall, and then I open it up, and I come in here, he can shoot me. But sometimes controller players will run all the way to the side like this around you, and like and shoot you. And that, that can be hard to counter. So sometimes, sometimes you might get kills with that. Whoa, I'm lagging. Okay. So, that is how to set up double movement. Make sure you practice implementing this, like in-game, if you're trying to rotate to zone. You no longer have to do this. You can now just... Oh, you can now just do this. And this is a lot easier. You can do it with ramps. I can... I can do this for whatever reason if I want to. And if there's a dude up here, I can cone him. You can peace control people. I can't really peace control because I'm lagging. And then go to the right and boom. It's very helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you feel like it for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Until then, have fun. I can't double edit. Have fun. Get some eliminations, complete your challenges, and I hope your next game is a win. Peace.